hi guys welcome to another lulu pacific welcome welcome i am excited today because today i get to talk about the wet and wild fall collection 2016 this is the limited edition i love that nearly every cosmetic company comes out with um with their holiday collection but i'm always excited to see what wet and wild comes up with i love wet and wild i love their products and uh, i'm actually on the eyes i'm actually using one of the um uh eyeshadow trio that came in that um fall collection so without no further ado we'll just go right into it so i'm not wearing any lipstick today because i wanted to do some swatches and stuff like that so we'll start with the eyeshadow because in this collection there's uh, two eyeshadow um, trio that came with it. So what I have is, I don't want to drop anything, I have on my eyes I have played to the bone. So it's this one right here. Okay. And um, I'm going to open it so you guys can see it. I thought this was just like like the beautiful colors and i definitely do use this together and i use this on my eyelid today so that's what i used and then i'm gonna swatch that for you so i'm gonna swatch this look at that look at the pigmentation it's so crazy so I'm gonna put it right there look at that that's just one swipe so i'm gonna go in with the dark blue Okay. Look at that. And then I'm gonna go in with this color right here. I love this color for the brow bone. That's what I'm using. Look at that. So those and that's played to the bone. And I, I, I don't know, it's something about this trio right here that that I really fell in love and I got it. And this is actually my third time using this um, this trio right here. I really fell in love with it. So that's played to the bone, okay? Second eyeshadow trio I got is Valor, Valor, Valor Vixen, Valor Vixen. I hope I'm not butchering the name but everything will be in the description box okay so it's Vela Viction right here and this one is more like appropriate fall but um, like I said I like the other trio I just love that other trio I just love the colors it, the pigmentation and stuff so this is um, yeah Vela Vixen so you got you know of course like the fall colors and stuff and this is a very lovely colors um, let me go ahead and swatch it for you guys. I want to swatch this one right here. And that. And this one has like little uh, glitter on it. So on the camera, I mean on the camera it's like giving out like a grayish. But it's actually like a purplish, like a dark purple with um, some glitter. So I'm going to go in with this nice berry color right here. Okay, it's a very nice soft color. Right there. And then I'm going to go in with that brow bone color. It's just your regular, you know, brow bone color. So this is a really pretty color. Um, like I said, this is something like if you want to apply it very soft, you don't want like nothing too much. This palette, um, this trio right here is for you. But me, I fell in love with the uh, first uh, palette. Something I like about it is because I don't know if they used the same. Of course they did. But for me personally, I like the other one better. Um, it's creamy. It's like applying butter. Uh, the pigmentation like I said the pigmentation is ridiculous on this like crazy ridiculous so that's Vixen and then my favorite which is played 
applied to the bone. Okay. We're going to go to the mascara. Like I said, the mascara, we have four of it. So I have the, what color do I have? I have the blue one, which is Sapphire Night Live. And I actually used it on the bottom lash line, my bottom lashes. So I like the packaging. It's really cute. And it, it is um, very pigmented. Uh, it does show, like, but it's not too, uh, like, crazy. The color is not, like, not this blue on my fingers. But it's it's a really nice blue I mean it applies really see look at that's the one and it applies really good on uh like I said I, I use this today and it really look nice so this is sapphire what is it what is it called again um it's called sapphire nightlife so I know that Brendan Wilde did come out with um, like colored mascara before too, but I didn't really like the the um, the pigmentation on that. I thought it was too dry. But something about this mascara is very like there's a lot of moisture in it, in the product. Like there's a lot of product in here, and like I said, it applies really well on my bottom lash line so that's a nice color so that like i said this is sapphire uh night live and then the other three colors that they came out with is glamethus rock that's like a purple one i don't have that and then they came out with a green one which is called green has a tissel and then the brown one that's the one i want to get is the unbreakable bronze so those are the four colors that they came out with. They didn't come out with a black one, which I thought was cool because usually every makeup company like to they have to have like a black one in there. But I thought this is cool that they kept it to like just these four colors. So like I said, this is my favorite, but I do want to get the Unbreakable Bronze. So those are the four mascara that came in the fall collection. I fell in love like I went crazy when I found out that they came out with the um did I drop it or oh, with the lip creams like I said I went really crazy when they came out with the lip cream so the lip cream that I've actually bought all four so this is all four I'll be swatching swatching it live um so these this remind me of the Jeffree Star packaging. I don't know why, but it does. But anyway, so these are the four. The four fall collection right here. And I just had to pick it up. Like I said, here's the four that I got. I'm trying to hold it so it doesn't fall. Then, So I'm going to swatch it live to you guys so you guys can see it on my lips. I won't put any lip line or anything. I want you guys to see the pigmentation and how it dries off on my lips and stuff like that. So we're going to go with, I think I'm going to go with the lightest color, which is probably, let's go with, let's go with this pink one right here. I've worn this before in uh, 16 for Look at this. Okay, so this is the one. So you see it has that weird shape to it but it is not weird at all whoever made it it's just so this actually f this slanted one right there it fits perfectly on your lips like this see and you just apply it back and forth <laughs> shade that's on my lips right now is um two tulip to quit two tulip to quit that's the shade right there and look at how it dries i mean i didn't put any lip liner on and it just looks great 
um, so the second lip cream I'm gonna swatch is the red one and this one is how flick is your love how flick is your love I haven't tried this before so yay so this is a red one so let's see and it has the same one So this is um, how flick is your love it's a really bright red I mean it looks good on my skin tone but I would probably put a dark brown lip liner first <laughs> but anyways um, looks really good and automatically you can already see that it's already drying like it doesn't take that long for it you know to dry next one I'm gonna swatch is called what is this don't be a plum plum swear to god that's what it says don't be a plum plum the name of it was appear somewhere in the screen so <laughs> I'm not butchering it so anyways so let's go right into it so this is the other shade the only one that I've used before and I fell in love is the uh, Too Tulip to Quit. So I don't know how the other shades will look on me. So this is a uh, first impression too for you and me. Okay, the same one. <laughs> takes like it doesn't have to take that long for it to uh to dry up but um this color is definitely fall appropriate i really love it um like i said i usually like to uh line my lips anyways with the lip liner so with this color because it is so um pigmented because it's dark i like to line my lean up my line my lips up but for now this is a very beautiful color for fall and like I said, you can make it, you can go in again for another coat to get that nice dark vampy look. So this is, yeah, I love, I really love this look. But like I said, I pair it up with a lip liner. Okay, last but not least, the last color we're going to swatch is the, it says, take it like a vamp. So this is like the vampy color. Um, so this is like a dark, dark brown, but I don't know if it comes out as dark purple, but this is called Take It Like a Vamp. <laughs>
about the whole collection as a whole. Uh, like I said, I've tried the mascara, I've tried the lip creams, I've tried the um, eyeshadow. Um, let's start with the lip creams. This matte liquid lipstick is blowing my mind away. It's phenomenal because I got all these for $2.99 and I also have high-end stuff. I have matte lipsticks that are high end and I'm not gonna compare anything to anything because I don't like to put any makeup company down that's not my thing um, because I like to like I said I love makeup so I buy from different vendors and stuff like that from I end to the dollar store let me take let me tell you about these matte liquid lipsticks they are like i said they're phenomenal um the the pigmentation you guys see it on my lips it's ridiculously pigmented this liquid lipsticks is pigmented and the way it sits on my lips for a drugstore it is lightweight i'm talking about lightweight I apply it and throughout the day I don't have to worry about feeling like there's something on my lips because whatever ingredients they use they did a good job because these are very lightweight on my lips and then like I said they're drying you apply it on the thing is when you apply it, you gotta be fast because they dry right away um, let me tell you I wore the to 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 live to quit I went to work I worked eight hours I had breakfast while I had it on and I didn't touch it up when my first break didn't touch it up the only time I actually had to touch it up was when I went on my lunch break um, you know I, I, because you know you know we're always producing saliva so I was even amazed for being a drugstore brand that it lasted that long like I said the only time I had to touch it up was when um, I had to uh, after my lunch break but um, it is not sticky I'm talking and you can see my lips moving without it being sticky um, the colors are very true to to the color I mean if you see it outside that's the color you will get um, the thing, the only pro, like I said, I, I said a lot of pros, but the only con thing about it. But you know what? I don't even know if I can say that's a bad thing. When you have to take it off, you can't use just the wipes or you can sprinkle water and it'll come out. What I did, this is just um, because it's very rich very pigmented very matte okay you're gonna have a hard time taking it off with just a regular wipes even if you wet the wipes even if you sprinkle water you'll have a hard time taking it off so what i recommend is vaseline i put this baby on in the entire lips and mm -hmm. moist like made it like moisturized it and then i took the wipes and it just came right off so I recommend you use Vaseline to take these babies out because like I said this is matte and it really lives up to its name it is very matte and it will it stays on your lips so if you don't use anything greasy it won't come out that's the only bad thing but I don't think it's even bad I mean like I said we want matte lipstick we want something that will last long throughout the day this um, had no problem like I said this didn't last a day like I said lunchtime I had to um, touch up but if I just had to touch up in the center of my lips because we, like I said we 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 produce saliva nearly freaking every minute <laughs> so of course you know it's it's gonna break up but I didn't really have to touch up the outer lips because it still looked like I just took it and apply it 
you know applied the liquid lipsticks on my lip that's what i'm talking about these if you see these like i said i got mine at um i got these and the eyeshadow at kmart and then i got the mascaras at walgreens so um you can get you can find it at kmart or walgreens so like i said these have this is i'm really happy about this purchase i think this is a 10 for me for being a drugstore i've been using this more than my high-end stuff and of course you guys know that this is my favorite palette out of the two um I, this is the um what is this called played to the bone plaid to the bone so this is my favorite out of the two uh, trio that it came in this is really nice too but I love this one and like I said you guys know of course of the mascara the blue one is my favorite I wanted to get the brown one so that's everything for my review and my swatches for the the wet and wild 2016 fall collection I hope you guys when you get a chance even if you guys just find one pick it up because like I said I all of this i thought that this is my favorite i really can't choose now because i feel like that they really for 2.99 they went past my imagination of what i thought it was going to be so like i said if you guys see it in store pick it up and i hope this review helped you to make your decision better like i said but if you're asking me what's my favorite from this lip cream they're not you'll definitely be seeing me using this in most of my up upcoming looks that I have because like I said I fell in love with them while watching it live for you guys so again if you guys have any questions please let me know thank you for watching